These are the now quiet fields of the Somme. In 1916, they were the setting for one of the bloodiest campaigns in British military history. The Battle of the Somme is a story of great endeavour and great loss. Many thousands of men died, were maimed or traumatised in a series of battles that began in the sweltering heat of summer and ended four and a half months later, bogged down in a sea of mud. This is the impressive Tietval Memorial to the Missing of the Somme. It lists the names of more than 73,000 men whose bodies were never found. Witness to the ferocity of the fighting that took place here during the First World War. Of all the battles, none is remembered more than the 1916 Battle of the Somme, which is rooted deep in the memory of the British people. With the possible exception of Passchendaele, no other battle is remembered more than the Battle of the Somme. It's remembered also for the scale of the casualties, for the men of the volunteer army, the men who came from all walks of life and every social class. They were the PALS battalions, the men who had enlisted together, the men who came here to fight together and who so often died together. On the 1st of July, the anniversary of the start of the Battle of the Somme, the nations who fought here come to lay wreaths and pay tribute to the great number who were lost. The death toll for the 142 days of the campaign was staggering. More than a million men from all sides, dead, wounded or missing. During the 20 weeks in which the battle was fought, this pastoral region of Picardy in northern France would be transformed from the place where the French had kept the Germans at bay to one of the deadliest killing grounds of the First World War. The villages and woods over which the battle was fought destined to become household names.